there is a black middle class of our, of our population. Um, the Sunday Times is more targeted at both white and black people, so it's multiracial. So is the Lady's Garden, but the city press is more um, directed at the black middle class of people. Um, as I said, I live in Cape Town. Uh, but my hometown is East London. East London is in a province called the Eastern Cape. We have nine provinces in South Africa. Um, the Eastern Cape is probably one of the biggest provinces <coughs> in the country. Um, Cape Town is... Can I show you guys my office picture just a little bit? Yeah. Yes, sure, go ahead. You have a car? I hope you guys see this. Can you see any of this? Yeah. We can see light. Yeah. Okay, let us put a good little bit of that. Sunshine. I was sitting on the 13th floor of this building, and right on my right there is the harbor, the Cape Town Harbor. It's one of the biggest in, uh, in Africa. Um, but getting back to my journalism, um, the story that you guys saw, the story that you guys came across, Slum Lord, I was working for a daily newspaper when I when I read the story. Um, the idea behind the story, how it came about, is as a newspaper, we used to have community dialogue sessions. Now what that means is maybe on a Wednesday evening we have community we have meetings with the various communities of the Eastern Cape and they tell us their problems, what they're experiencing in their community, whether it's crime. You know, whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol abuse and so forth. So at one of these meetings, the people said to the editor of the newspaper that they were having problems with people that were squatting, that were creating, you know, unhygienic living conditions, you know, by stuffing many people in one house and overpopulating the house. So I was given the story, the assignment go and they live undercover for a month, for two months, and kind of live like those people, like the tenants who live in these in houses. And uh, that's how the story came about. And when they gave me the story, they said, okay, fine, you'll be off the main news desk, which means I'm not writing daily stories, I'm just focusing on that investigation. It was my second story I had done. The previous story was called Broken Homes. Broken Homes was a story about how we, we here in South Africa, we have, um, um, it basically it was an investigation about the housing situation in the country. Housing is one of the most important things. It's one of the key elements of human survival. Uh, by the way, Tina, sorry to interrupt, but I <coughs> opened the parallel screen with the Plum Lord's uh, website. Uh, yes. the photo. So if you want uh, any time to tell us where to go if you wanted to, then I can just uh, go ahead and show them that section of the website, if you want. Okay, no problem. We'll probably get there now. Um, so, before I did some notes, I had done another story before that. So by the time I was, I was confident that I could do it. Uh, when they gave me, when they gave me the task, go in and do the story. I was quite confident that I was able to do it. And I did most of the work on my own, the groundwork, but the website that you guys are looking at right now was compiled by three people. Me and two graphic designers that were working for the newspaper. We all had different skills. Some guys are actually good at you know, creating the website, some guys are good at collecting the information and having the structure structuring how we're going to structure the website. I was very involved in the process of building the website. Um, it probably took us a month to build it because we wanted to finish the website the same time that we were going to run the story in the newspaper. So the, the story was run both online and on print, which was the success. That's what made the project so successful. The fact that we had we told one story in two different meetings, online and print. Now, I 
was responsible for gathering most of the, of the information that went onto the website. But at the same time, I was also responsible for gathering, for writing the news story that appeared on the actual newspaper. If you look at the basic structure of the website, you will see that we have used the floor plan of the house that I lived in. It's a basic floor plan with all the rooms and the bathrooms and the kitchens and so forth, so that to give the reader or the viewer an idea of how many people actually live in this house, how many bedrooms are there in this house, and you know what kind of layout platform it has been used. So we decided we went to the architects to build the house, and they gave us a floor plan. With that floor plan, we were able to create this website and load it with pictures and videos and so forth, as you can see. I don't know where, I'm not sure, I can't remember where it is on the website, but you will also see that I kept a diary. When I was, while I was in the house, I was writing a diary every day of all the things that were happening. We have the diary, it's under my slot. Archive of yeah, my house. Yes. Um, it's important to keep a diary to report all the events that are taking place. You need to have a daily diary where you write down everything that happens. So that was it was easy for me to go back to my diary 